Now, adventurer Jeff Wilson and 12 others are preparing to cross the Torres Strait kite surfing while pulling a sled shaped as a pair of boobs. It's part of a bid to raise money for the McGrath Foundation and we're joined now by Jeff, Richard and Alex who are all part of the Pink Torres Expedition. Thanks for coming in, guys. Good morning. And good morning to you, Jeff. We should say we have spoken to you before and um, did I miss the crossing of Antarctica? No, no, no. We, this is, you know, still mad training for it. I head to Cape Town in late October. Yes. And hope to be starting that journey by November the 5th. But in the meantime, you wanted to keep yourself busy by... Uh... Well, Madman Alex put together a team of guys from Sydney and we're going to drag the boobs in relay across the Torres Strait. So, Alex, what kind of challenges can we expect uh, you guys to, to face when you're crossing Torres Strait? So the ten of us are going to be kite surfing all day, every day for five days to get from uh, Cape York to Papua New Guinea. Um, we're probably going to have a few challenges along the way. There's a lot of wildlife out there. Um, when you say wildlife, tell us what you're talking about. I think the local population of crocodiles is around 200,000 um, and there's a few tiger sharks out there. On top oh. of that there's a few, um, there's a little bit of um, that's not for the wives, that conversation. <laughs> um, uh, there's um, some currents and some tides um, and, of course, the wind, which can be our friend or enemy out there. I think so, um, the wind will be your friend if there's yeah, crocodiles and tiger sharks right. around. And we're, um, we're spending uh, the nights on a couple of uninhabited islands um, and then spending a couple of nights on some... Uh, staying in the village hall with uh, some local people. Um. So it's a great thing to do, Richard, um, for charity, but um, what appeals to you... <laughs> what would appeal to anybody about crossing Torres Strait um, with a giant pair of boobs? Well, for me and for the rest of the team, we, we are passionate kiteboarders. There is nothing better than the feeling of getting out in the water with the wind behind you and uh, the attraction of doing that sort of adventure across a beautiful part of Australia, crossing some... Alex talked about some of the dangers, but it's an absolutely stunning part of the world, wonderful population that we get to interact with, and uh, we're raising money for a great cause. I mean, at the end of the day, we really want to raise awareness for the McGrath Foundation and hopefully um, help uh, Jeff meet his target of uh, helping me meet his target of a million dollars by the end of the year. And one of the amazing things, Jeff, about the McGrath Foundation is the fact that there are nurses who are directly linked to the foundation who go out into the communities and help people one-on-one, -on -one, isn't it? Is that what appealed to you? It is, and the Torres Strait has quite a high incidence of breast cancer because culturally getting examined and being breast aware is not something that's traditionally done. So McGrath do scholarships up there and through the money we raise we hope we can get breast care nurses up there. Uh, so it's exciting in that we're doing the adventure there, it's locally supported by the Torres Strait Islanders and uh, my goal by the end of the year through the Polar Expedition and the Torres Expedition is to raise a million dollars for McGrath and when you meet Katie Carlisle who kicked it all off because she's a young woman on the Gold Coast suffering her second round, uh, she's in a solo expedition of her own, um, fighting for survival. When you meet her, you understand where all the pieces fit in. She inspired you. She did, and she's passionate about young women being breast aware, and the McGrath Curve Love program fits in perfectly with that. Their whole uh, push to get breast care nurses available for every community in Australia. They currently have 83 nurses around Australia. We need 150 to make sure that every community has a breast care nurse available. Um, works really well. So through adventure we're showcasing uh, breast awareness and pulling a cheeky sled. Uh, yes, it is cheeky. It's a lovely pair of breasts. So who, who is the model? My long-suffering patient wife. She's a princess. She let me uh, do a mould of them. <laughs> and <laughs> they're the most expensive Kevlar breasts in the world, I would say. And you found somebody who could do a, a magnified sort of laser version of it. That's fantastic. Yeah, how, can, how can people donate? If you can get online to torrescrossing.com uh, click on there, it'll take you straight through to McGrath. All the money raised goes to the McGrath Foundation. So 100% goes, 100% of donations go to McGrath, so we're financing this ourselves. Brilliant, okay, great. And um, the team is all here today and they're all abbed up and ready to go. Yeah, wow, awesome. well done, guys. Big round of applause for you. And we do wish you all the best with the expedition and we'll be following it, of course. I'm so excited Thank that you. you're following it. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you.